Ik ben een keer voordat je komt voor je boek gaan. Ja. Is moest. Ik moet nog even gaan eten. Voor je boek. Ik moet al een dood kilis. Dacă îți zic să sunt un fight, eu și nu-i ea. Pentru că tu ce am avut-o? Opa! Opa, opa. Mie cum era o ala. Notice you there. How did I be so Tam občinky. To je mi se tam odná.
is a beautiful day. Except where you're standing. You are so righteous, so pure of heart. It really makes me want to vomit!
You, uh, really got your mother's looks. Ooh. You know what I like most about people? They die. itu kau suka kipat tu. Nai. 
and heat. For you, your majesty. Wow! Esse é um grande kira aqui em trás daí. Thank you so much for the room. Yeah, that's it. It's not every day a king walks into the rebel headquarters. You've changed the world since we last stood here. You had a lot to do with it, Paige. But we still haven't changed things enough. Without Logan's troops, crime is becoming a serious problem. There's one man in particular, Nigel Ferret. He's making this city his own. Every criminal in Bowerstone reports to him now. He's too powerful for me to deal with, and he's not easy to find. But I know how you can get to him. Okay. Good. Kid went undercover with a gang of robbers and found out their plans. They're going to strike the tavern in Bowerstone Market. If you get there in time, you can stop the raid. And at least one of those thugs must know where Ferret is holed up.
all well, my lord. Sir. My lord. If you cooperate, you won't get hurt. If you give us any trouble, we'll kill you. Now, just so you know we mean business, I'd like one of you to give us trouble, so we can kill him as an example to the rest. Who's it gonna be then? Oh look, we have a volunteer. The king, no less. Have at him, fellas. I'm gonna kill your It is no longer advantageous for any of us to frequent the hideout in industrial. Presently, I shall inaugurate a new center of operations in Barristone Market. You've been provided with a key which will permit access. Please endeavor to prevent its transference to an unauthorized individual. Your Majesty, I'm so chuffed with your room. I've Yay, got a present for you. Ooh. Woo oh. Yay. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my lord. Awaiting your command, my lord. I'll speak it away, yeah. Again. It does tend to obviate the entire objective of maintaining a secret hideout if your enemies can simply infiltrate whenever they've the inclination. Lads, perform the specific services for which I employ you expeditiously. Huh? Kill him fast. <laughs> Set me free. Now, nah, but you got more the best art.
I believe I can state with relative confidence that your efforts are in vain. Even should it transpire that you vanquish my associates, this door is completely impenetrable. In addition to which, this cell contains a secret egress through which I may abscond whenever I desire. Meanwhile, my compatriots shall brutalize your person. You haven't lost your touch. I'm surprised his men were foolish enough to fight you. Now, truth be told, my superlative intellect notwithstanding, it would appear this is not, in fact, the specific cell I so confidently referenced earlier. The one with the secret exit has two beds. All right. Vassal. You have prevailed, Your Majesty. I concede. However, I entreat you to entertain a certain proposal. You have nothing to offer, Ferret. It's over. Ah, it? That pronouncement is objectively devoid of merit. I happen to have on my person a substantial quantity of currency. Let me go free, and the money is yours. As far as I'm concerned, you can stay in there and rot. But that's for the king to decide. <laughs> you royal miscreant! This grievous malefaction shall be rewarded with equally grievous retribution. Who's my to <laughs> you have made great strides, Your Majesty. Witness the glory of your treasury. Don't you just want to go swimming in all that gold? But the kingdom demands your attention once more. The time has come to make a decision on Albion's drinking laws. Under Logan's rule, our citizens are restricted in the amount of alcohol they can purchase per day. As you can imagine, this has proved a rather unpopular measure. And yet many respected members of the community think the law does not go far enough. They would like alcohol consumption wholly abolished among the commoners. They feel, rather reasonably, that it leads to improper behavior and raucous public spectacles. These concerned nobles are willing to pay handsomely for the change in policy. Meanwhile, the commoners themselves would like the restrictions completely lifted claiming they infringe upon their freedom and their rights. You cannot please everyone, Your Majesty, but you must make a decision. I think I'm more of the one you want to do. I think you are The residents of Millfields will be most pleased. They will find it money well spent, and I find it money well received. Let us move on to other matters, Your Majesty. You have a busy day in the throne room ahead. Samuel, the head of the Brightwall Academy, is ready to plead his case. I sincerely hope he isn't after a handout, though I'm sure Master Reaver will be the voice of reason, as always.
Kitüç. Greetings, sir. At your service. Yippee! All stand to attention for the King of Albion. Interesting. Today, you decide on the status of the Brightwall Academy, Your Majesty. Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Riva will dispute his cause. You may speak. <clears throat> your Majesty, it was your father who opened the doors to Albion's greatest seat of learning. Under his rule, knowledge and culture flourished, and so did the people of Brightwall. I ask only that you return to the wisdom of those days. Your brother closed the so academy down, but it is in your hands. There is no greater proponent of the arts than myself, and I celebrate knowledge in all its forms. But our people are frightened and confused. The last thing they need is knowledge. Allow them the benefit of ignorance. Let only those who are truly prepared make use of the academy. The elite of our society will pay handsomely to indulge in erudition. Uh, but, but but only the rich will be able to afford to learn. Precisely. Why give wisdom away when one can charge for it? What do you wish to do, Your Majesty? The Brightwall Academy will be open to all who wish to learn. The Brightwall Academy shall be reopened, and Albion will once again have a free center of learning. Oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. This is the start of a new day for us all. Very well. I will make the arrangements at once. Stimulate your intellect in the newly reopened Brightwall Academy. Suckle the knowledge from the land's greatest minds and avail yourself of the best library ever assembled. Everyone, from the most impoverished genius to the wealthiest idiot, is welcome. Brightwall Academy. Whatever you earn, it's the place to learn. Good. The court summons Page and Reaver. The matter before you today is the future of Bower Lake. Reaver will offer his proposal. Page will stand against him. You may speak. Yes, Your Majesty, a recent survey of Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable metals. Now, as amusing as it would be to make workers hold their breath as they mine these resources, I fear it would be impractical. Instead, we have no choice but to dam the river and drain the lake of all water. Once that is done, we will have a ready-made quarry ripe for the plucking. It will be a pity to disfigure the landscape so close to my former home, but it is a sensible course of action in light of our current needs. Bower Lake is the last piece of natural beauty remaining in Bowstone. It belongs to our history and should be protected. Don't take it away from us. You'll be taking away part of this city's soul with it. Oh, really? Now that we've finally freed the people of this city, are we going to destroy the one place they can find peace? The decision is yours to make, Your Majesty. Also, it's the machine. I took 
Again, again, again. Page is right. We must protect our natural resources. Bower Lake is to be left untouched. The king has ruled. Bower Lake's natural beauty is hereby protected by order of the crown. Thank you. Let's show the world Albion is worth defending. Here's a pretty view worth more than a treasury full of gold. I bow to your greater wisdom. Young man, I was ever looking. As someone whose home has overlooked the resplendent Bower Lake, I am pleased to declare the official protection of this natural wonder. May its water drown anyone who doesn't appreciate its beauty. Hold on, they see the goodies. I trust the court was not too dull today. In any case, I'm confident your final task will be most enjoyable. A loyal and wealthy member of our community has offered to make a sizable donation to our treasury. Her only request is that you go to Millfields to make the collection in person. A perfect chance to stretch your legs, your majesty. The lady in question is called Muriel, and I believe she's willing to donate an ancient and very... Ah, hello. Gotcha. That appears to be all of the gifts. You have gained several trophies since you were in last. Most impressive. The lectern contains a record of all your recent transactions. Ne csak olyan, hogy egész egy millió marad itt. Na, van szemre a kulcsot. I love the color of gold, and the brilliance is quite good. Hard to go wrong with the divine heaviness as well. Any other business to attend to? I've been keeping track of your achievements. Amazing! If you don't spend your money, it will accrue here in a sort of golden heap. Just doing a bit of bookkeeping, eh? It's so money.
Provisly sardines. I love the color of his gold, and the brilliance is quite good. Hard to go wrong. Welcome to the sanctuary. I have arranged the room to store your fortune as well as your trophies and achievements. Hmm, no. And then do it me each me. Not sure then the next visa. Remind us. Welcome to the live room where you can interact with the larger world. És még mindig nulla, így is is számom. Tehát még mindig most sem nem dörök ki megszézni. There you are, Miss Tether. <gasps> and you got Jonathan. Oh, thank you, thank you. I got a letter back from the company. I know just what to do to put things right. Miss Tether, to keep me. We find so. Hey, again, again. Now, I, I know you've all been very sick, but I'm going to make you all better. Won't that be nice? Gerard, what? Jo Jonathan, please. Right, this is for your own good. Dear sir, we were deeply saddened to learn of your recent... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Ah, here we are. Face the offending ornaments, maintain eye contact, and speak the following words in a deep, commanding voice. Gargalus minimalusus. Don't do this. I'm sorry. I'm too young to be an animat. Think about what you're doing. Who are you, Jimmy? How have you? No, shoot it. Shoot the gargoyle. <laughs> No! What have I done? My poor gnomes. Oh, my dear Jonathan. I gave you life, and now... I've taken it away. <laughs> well, I can't stay here anymore. The memories are just too painful. Maybe Mother will take me in again. Perhaps she was right. This affection for stone ornaments was unhealthy from the start. Is I? I am going to get myself some real friends. So, some stuffed squirrels, maybe. Yes, they do nicely. Thank you for making me realize how empty and sad my life is. Please take this small reward. I'm off to mother's. No, I don't 
good. Are you a man or a little boy? I charge more I because people are paying me. This shop is owned by the most, owned 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 by the most famous well known hero. for daring well known. adventures and ridiculously <laughs> known. The arrogant will not find respect. Okay. Your Majesty, welcome to our temple. I lament the forlorn state in which you find it. Before the darkness came, this room held our most sacred treasure. I had lost all hope of recovering it, for that would require journeying into the desert. We have lost so many people. Who among us would have the courage to face the sands now? Okay. Thank you. You will forgive me for not being more forthright. I am unaccustomed to asking rulers for their help. As for the matter in question, this chamber once housed the temple's sacred dyes. Our rituals cannot be completed without them. The dyes are made from rare flowers found throughout Aurora and the surrounding desert. Gathering them has always been a dangerous task, but when the darkness fell upon us, it became an impossible one. If you can find these flowers and bring them to me, I will begin making the dyes again, and perhaps our people can recover some of the faith they have lost. We will gladly share them with you, of course. Jo, jo, má to dobu lomé jít. A pleasure to see you, your majesty. You have done a great service for us, on behalf of all Aurorans. I thank you. The yellow dye represents prosperity. It is used in times of shortages and famine. Megvan az első. Azt is utalom. Az X-em nem mozdulj már. Idióta. You are a wise ruler, and we support you. The red dye represents love in our culture. Whether that shared between betrothed couples or parents and their children. Have this and think of me, Your Majesty. Most to me, this. To show she is with me. I also. Okay, she has to be in both. Some of them. 